what's going on YouTube I just want to say thank you guys to all of the new subscribers we've been blowing right past 200 and 300 we're almost to 400 subscribers hopefully we'll hit a thousand by June so I just want to give a huge shout out to all you guys that are liking the video commenting and subscribing now I've been getting a lot of requests to make a bypass for Pokemon Go and Fortnite and PUBG so this is going to be the video that you guys have been waiting for. I'm going to show you a workaround to get Pokemon Go running and PUBG and Fortnite, all of your banking apps, pretty much any app that has a jailbreak detection system. First of all, if you've ever had your screen replaced, even if it's been replaced by Apple, do not use this method because for some reason, if you restore root FS, then there is a possibility that your touch ID or face ID may not work. Now, if you have never had your screen replaced and it is the original screen on your device, then you're 100% fine. You can go ahead and use this method. You will have no issues. But like I said before, if your screen has been cracked, replaced, then do not use this method. You will risk losing your face ID functionality or your touch ID functionality. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and jump into Cydia and type in Batchomatic. So B A T C H. All right, Batchomatic. It's right here. Author is Capped Inc. Go ahead and install that. Also, you're going to want Filesa. Filesa File Manager. So go ahead and install both of those tweaks. Once those are installed, you're going to go back to the search option in Cydia and you're going to see a little steering wheel right here. This is Batchomatic. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and tap create online.deb. It's gonna go ahead and create one. All this is is basically a backup of all of your tweaks, all of your settings for your tweaks, all of your sources, pretty much just backing up your jailbreak. Now, when you get this pop-up, you're gonna go ahead and push export. You're gonna to go to notes. You can go ahead and write whatever you want. So it could be um, backup. Go ahead and save it. Once you have that downloaded to your notes app, go ahead and jump over to uncover. If you are on the uncover jailbreak, I will also show you how to do it for the check rain jailbreak. So just go down and hit restore root FS, push done. Go ahead and hit root restore root FS. It may give you an error. The exploit did not work or something along those lines. Go ahead and just reboot the device and push restore root FS again. And it should work on that second time. If you're on the check rain jailbreak, which I happen to be, Go ahead and tap the restore system. It's going to unjailbreak the device and put your device back to stock. So tap restore system. Once the root FS or the restore system has run, you'll notice that you don't have Cydia, you don't have any of your tweaks anymore. If we open up Pokemon Go, everything is going to work perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and log into all these applications just to show you that they do work and I'll be right back. All right, so now as you can see, PUBG Mobile is running perfectly fine. No issues, it's not crashing. It's gonna work perfectly as if you bought your iPhone straight from Apple and never jailbroke it in the first place. Everything is going to work properly. All right, now the big test is gonna be Pokemon Go because everyone knows that game is such a mother all right, so now if we hop over to Pokemon Go, you can see that everything is working perfectly fine. What 
are the odds of that? The first random letters that I typed in, the name was not available. All right, so as you can see, Pokemon Go is running perfectly fine. I don't have any issues with it. It's not going to crash. Boom, catching Pokemon left and right. All right, so now that you guys can see that all of your applications are working, how do we get the jailbreak back? Well, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and re-jailbreak your device. So I'm gonna switch over to the uncovered jailbreak. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap jailbreak. It's gonna go ahead and take the snapshot, reboot the device. Go ahead back over to uncover, open it up again, go ahead and tap jailbreak. All right, now that the device is jailbroken again, go ahead and open up Cydia. Do all of the requested updates. Let your sources refresh. At the same time, go ahead and install files. Continue queuing. Install Batchomatic again. Also do the updates. All right, once you have files back on your device and you also have Batchomatic back on your device, go ahead and double check. All right, we got the steering wheel. We're gonna go ahead into our notes application. We're gonna go to the backup jailbreak attachment. Go ahead and hit it, push the share button. We are going to share it to files at Copy to Files. All right, once it's been copied over to Files, we're gonna do the batch install. This is the file that was copied over. Go ahead and tap the install button. All right, once it's done loading, go ahead and push done. Now head over to Cydia again, push on the steering wheel. Go ahead and tap the install.deb. It's gonna install all of your preferences, all of your repos, all of your tweaks. Just go ahead and tap proceed. Now just sit here and let it load. Don't do anything. Don't turn off the device. Just let it do its thing. All right, so I got this little pop-up. It says that the Mario Kart tweak that I had installed could not be found. And the reason for that is because I didn't have the repo installed when I made this backup. I had downloaded the Mario Kart tweak through a deb file, not through a repo. So you guys shouldn't have this error message. However, if you do have the error message, just go ahead and tap proceed. What it's doing now is it's gonna go ahead and install all of your tweaks that you had before on your device with all of the settings preset. Go ahead and tap confirm. And as you can see, all my tweaks are back. My live wallpaper is back and animating. If we go back into my settings, we can go ahead and see that I have all the tweaks back right here and all of the settings are saved. So if I go to the lock screen, as you notice, all my previous settings are saved. So I know this takes some time to do, but this is the only known workaround for the jailbreak detection bypass on these games. However, for me, Shadow has been working on PUBG Mobile. I've just been able to use the Shadow tweak to make sure that the jailbreak detection is disabled. However, Pokemon Go and some of the banking apps that you guys have been commenting about, this will be the only way that will work until there is a stronger jailbreak detection bypass tweak available. If you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and make sure you leave them down in the comment section. I will help you guys out. It's a fairly simple process. It just takes some time but this will give you the option to have the best of both worlds, being able to 
play all your games, use all your apps, but also at the same time, go ahead and boot into your jailbroken state. If you guys like the video, please remember to smack that like button. If you love the video, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.